I hope this video series has filled you with lots of information about how to build progressive web apps that are fast, integrated, reliable, and engaging, and that you're inspired and motivated to go build a progressive web app yourself. I want to give you a short teaser about some of the new capabilities that are coming to the web platform that have recently landed or will be landing shortly. The first is the Credential Management API. The Credential Management API is a standards-based browser API that provides a programmatic interface between your site and the browser for seamless sign-in across devices. It removes friction from sign-in flows. Users can automatically be signed back into your site even if their session is expired or if they've saved their credentials on another device. It allows for one-tap sign-in that leverages the native account chooser. It allows your application to store the user's credentials, either a username and password combination or even federated account details. These credentials can then be synced across devices. The Credential Management API is supported today in Chrome and Opera, and Apple has already started working on it. WebVR creates a fully immersive 3D experience in your browser using a VR headset and a VR-capable device. While it's still in its infancy, it's supported today in Chrome, Firefox, Microsoft Edge, and Samsung browser. WebAssembly, or WASM, provides a new way to run code written in languages like C and C++ on the web at near native speeds. It provides the speed necessary to build an in-browser video editor or to run a Unity game at a high frame rate, utilizing existing standards-based web platform APIs. And of course, there's plenty more, too many to talk about. Constructible streams and persistent storage for service workers, or the ability for an app to handle a certain number of silent push messages with the budget API. The web platform will continue to improve, making it easier for you to radically improve your user experience. I want to provide you with a few resources that may be helpful as you're building progressive web apps. The first, developers.google.com web is our opinionated resource for building amazing web experiences. You'll find guidance, tutorials, case studies, and all the latest information there. Second, we have a lot of code labs for you to get real coding experience at codelabs.developers.google.com. Now, it's time for you to dive into some code labs and put what you've learned to use. I'd recommend starting with the Your First Progressive Web App Code Lab. Then, take a look at the Debugging Service Workers Code Lab. After that, you can either jump into the Push Notifications or Web Payments Code Lab. Better yet, do both. Check the description for links to slides from this video and to some of the other links that I shared. I'm Pete. I hope these videos have left you inspired and that you're excited to start radically improving your user experience. Thanks for watching.